Welcome back to Ask the Experts Radio Show on Talk Radio 1190. I am Anthony Stanilia. I am joined by Roger Wakefield from Texas Screen Plumbing and his wife, Julie Wakefield. All right, jumping right back into it, Roger. I guess, um, quick question. Plumbing, was that a good career choice? Oh, my God. Anthony, I, I, I tell people, look, I have a great life. I have, uh, I've always enjoyed working. And for me to get into plumbing, and, and, and I owe that to Grant Speak, Speaks Plumbing over in Garland, a great company. I was in high school and working at a restaurant, and, and it's a video on my YouTube channel. You, you can go watch it, and I, I, get, I tell the whole story. But basically, we're talking one night, and I'm 16 years old. I'm managing a restaurant, and he says, you know, are you going to do this forever? I'm like, man, look, I'm 16, managing a restaurant. I got it made. Life yeah. is beautiful. It's great. He says, so what happens when you get fired? Who's going to hire a 16-year-old restaurant manager? He said, fired. And I thought, whoa. How did he know you were going to get fired? I didn't get fired. I quit. Oh. But, you know, the thought went through my mind. So we talk a little bit more, and he tells me about his three older brothers, Rodney and Austin and Lynn, and how much they love plumbing and Dad, dad was a chief plumbing inspector in the city of Dallas. And I tell you what, plumbing to me is an amazing career. It's been a good life. I've, I've enjoyed it. I have fun. I have toys. I just, I love what I do and I love being a problem solver. And it's a neat deal because some plumbers and nothing against them. Some plumbers are great fixers. They can't find the problem. They can't solve the problem, but they can fix any problem that you, you show them. I'm a little bit of both. I can fix the problem, but my thing, my specialty is I'm a problem solver. And you like I, solving people's problems. You, bet. And you like seeing that smile on their face and fixing that problem. Absolutely. And, and letting them know that, you know, I, I remember an emergency call I got one Friday evening, and it's one of the very first, It actually it was the first five-star review I got. Lady calls, says, look, my, my son called. I've got sewage coming up in my house. No oh, goodness. I show up, and she's crying. It's Friday night at 7 o'clock. And, and, and she is, she's hysterical. And I just looked at her. I said, ma'am, look, everything's going to be okay. I, I can take care of this. I got this. And, and man, by the time I left, she's sitting on the couch drinking a glass of wine, smiling. You know, life is a good thing. And everything was fixed. And that makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, doesn't it? It, it is a feeling that... I mean, taking care of people is a great thing. And, you know, going back to, you know, down in Austin, you know, you can see the passion there as well. Um, You don't just own a company. You own a company that gives a service or I wouldn't say gives us, provides a service of not just, you know, conserving water. And also you're almost like a problem solver as well as a plumber. You know, Anthony, it's, it's funny because I, I have had to study marketing because I've, I've been ripped off. You know, we, we had a marketing company we call Other People's Money. <laughs> and and that, that's about the, the idea that they had with it. But all they did is rip us off. Oh, yeah. and, and we started getting into marketing. And, you know, you, you asked me a lot about social media, but we started growing on social media because we realized we knew more about it than most other marketing companies. And now we have literally started training. I've got YouTube coaches. I've got people that I consult with from around the world. Mm -hmm. I've got guys in Thailand. I've got guys in Utah. I've got a coach here in in the Dallas area. And LinkedIn people. Uh, I've got LinkedIn coaches that that I consult with and talk with. And, hey, I'm thinking about doing this. And, hey, I'm thinking about doing that. That's awesome. And it's really helped us. But now – Will's actually got a company, Residential Service Group, and it's all about helping people in the trades, people in the residential service industry mm-hmm. learn that video and networking and social media and marketing, it all ties together. And if you do it all, it's cheaper than, than just sending money to Google for pay-per-click all the time. Oh, yeah, right. And, and, and it's a big deal. It is, and especially locally, you know, um, being able to tap into that and being able to tap the local consumer and market. Um, you know, I guess with everything with plumbing and, you know, I and getting into it, you know, say if somebody's out there, you know, wants to get into plumbing like you, 
How soon could they get into plumbing? <laughs> the the there is such a need in the trades, and, and, and not just plumbing. Aren't you hiring any, any of them? I, I'm looking for very high end plumbers. Okay, and, and and I guess that's probably the best way to put it. I want I want I want the best of the best, but and as you like should. I said, I, I'm a union company. I I pay more than other companies. And you hold your standards high. You bet. And, and the benefits that we have. Uh, I mean, we, we pay for people's insurance for their entire family. That's awesome. Uh, my plumbers have a pension plan, a retirement plan. I mean, you know my deal with my my dental. You bet. I mean, that's, you know, I wish upon a star, you know, that iHeartMedia was like that, but not so much. And <laughs> it, and it's funny because, I mean, me and my wife look, look around at different things. How can we improve our company? How can we make it better? That's amazing. What, what benefits can we offer? But what we have other companies say, look, you know, what y'all are doing is is great for your guys, and, and that's what we try to do. Uh, but we also try to be a, a great company. And you know, t- tell me this, Julie, what we, we try to be a great company? Mm-hmm. What 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 kind of crazy calls? What kind of crazy things happen where at the end of the day you realize, hey, look, we did good, or hey, w- we are a great company. Right. Well, that, again, speaks to the character of the people that are in our company. So the first one that comes to mind is the lady that called one day and said, uh, I need to I need a second opinion. I've just uh, had a HVAC person in my in my attic. He said, you've got some leaks up here in your in your gas system. Call a plumber, called the plumber. The plumber never went into the attic, turned the meter off said, you need a new yard relay. It's going to be $10,000. Call me when you're ready to turn it back on. And he left. And she said she started cussing. And when she stopped stopped cussing, she started praying. <laughs> and she said she went to Google and found <laughs> us. And she said, I just felt like I needed to call you. So I said, we'll come out and take a look at that for you. Absolutely. And we went out there. Uh, we went into the attic. We found a few leaks. And we fixed it for less than a thousand dollars. Turned her her uh, gas back on, and uh, we we felt like heroes that day. <laughs> and, and we tested everything, and there was no leak in the yard. Is that correct? Oh no, the the leak was not in the yard. It, her HVAC guy was correct. You've got a you've got gas leaks, and there was more than one in the attic. And and I've got a similar story, and and I I may have told it here before. One of the first foundation repair jobs, slab oh, leak yeah. jobs that that I got called on. Lady called me out to a house. Says, "Look, we've had a, another foundation. We've had a foundation company do foundation work. They sent their own company out here. So, guys, if your foundation company owns a plumbing company, don't use them together. <laughs> but the foundation company's plumber came out and said everything under your house is bad. It all needs to be rerouted around front, and it was going to be forty thousand dollars. My goodness. And she asked me. She said, "What do I do?" I said, "Look." Let me come in. Let me test it and start over. I said, I don't know what else to tell you. So I tested it. They had one leak, and it, it was in a bad spot because we tried going through the floor. It was in two beams, which, unfortunately, we've run into a lot here lately. Yeah. Uh, we ended up having to reroute that one line around front and tie into the front. Total job was $8,000. Okay. Save that homeowner $32,000 so they could move into an Remember. assisted living home to retire. All right. Well, not to cut anybody off, but we do have a minute, and I do want to get both of your numbers out there. And, uh, you know, I do appreciate y'all coming in and speaking with me. And I know that I am smarter now of being, uh, you know, enlightened with today's episode. And I'm sure our, our listeners as well. And listeners, if you'd like to get a hold of Roger, his phone number is 972-442-4101. Julie's phone number is 972-268-9500. Would you like to say anything else, Mr. Roger? Yeah, Anthony, I've got a deal going on my YouTube channel right now, The Expert Plumber. We are fixing to start giving away some really cool plumbing products. Okay. And we're going to do it through our subscribers. So anybody out there, if you're listening, you want to win some cool plumbing stuff, subscribe to The Expert Plumber, ring the bell. We've got some really very nice plumbing product stuff we're going to be giving away. Yeah, it's exciting. What's that YouTube channel once again? The Expert Plumber.
the expert plumber. And if you'd like to get a hold of Julie on the web, it is jwetiquette.com. Once again, her number 972-268-9500. And if you'd like to get a hold of Roger, once again, 972-442-4101. Thank you all very much for joining me today. Thank you, Anthony. You always do a great job. I I love it when you're in here. Well, cheers. Thank you all very much. Happy New Year, Dallas, and uh, go Dallas Cowboys. (laughs) We'll see you all next time on Ask the Experts Radio Show.